Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pinky. I'm the clinical pharmacist practitioner. Now, I have got so many requests to make a video on polycystic ovary syndrome. So I thought like, why not? Polycystic ovary syndrome, it is also known as PCOS. PCOS is very, very common in women of childbearing age, of reproductive age, women who are ready to give birth to babies. Why polycystic ovary syndrome? is such a big issue and uh, why it happens. Let's get into the depth of it. Now, polycystic ovary syndrome is related to or linked with or associated with obesity. What is obesity? As I have already, you know, made a video of like how you can understand whether you're overweight, underweight, normal weight. So if somebody who are overweight, not within their normal weight range, who are obese, not within their normal weight range, they suffer mainly from polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS. This is because if somebody is overweight, not within their normal range, then there is more levels of fat in the body. More levels of fat in the body means more production of a hormone called androgen. When, because of the increased level of fat, there is increased levels of androgen. And when androgen increases, you have PCOS. Why increased levels of androgens is a problem? Increased levels of androgens is a problem because it leads to production, development of small fluid filled sacs. Now, these sacs are called basically follicles. So these sacs covers the egg, the ovum. And the ovum is a very, very important, you know, uh, thing. Uh, this is because when a sperm from a man fuses the ovum, then there is fusion and it leads to development of a baby. Now, when this ovum is f f covered by this sac, the sperm can't fuse the ovum, the egg. production the ovum the egg from the sac cannot be released because of the sac production there is irregular periods and there can be like if there is period it can be heavy it can be very irregular it can be for very long period and there can be acne on the face which i have uh, already explained what is acne what are the treatments in my previous video and there will be hair growth on the face and uh, obviously it will lead to infertility problems so how do we diagnose pcos polycystic ovary syndrome so polycystic ovary syndrome is basically there is a criteria known as Rotterdam criteria. So if somebody has got like no periods, the cycle is more than 35 days or less than 10 periods in one year. That's one criteria. Second criteria is there will be ultrasound done. And in ultrasound, there will be polycystic ovaries. There will be in the ovaries, there will be many cysts and uh, there are other symptoms like acne, hair growth on the face, and, you know, alopecia, hair fall. Uh, women starts getting bald, basically. And there is another test that is done that is known as free androgen index. So this test is done, basically, in women. Let's talk about how do we manage polycystic ovary syndrome. The first and most important thing I will advise patient is about lifestyle and weight loss. It is very, very important. I'll encourage weight loss. I can give medications as well, like Orlistat. Orlistat can be bought over the counter. And if somebody has got a BMI, like, you know, very, very obese, then surgeries can be done as well. Another thing that is often offered to uh, regulate menstruation is to offer combined oral contraceptive pills which will regulate the cycle another most important thing that is required is because of these excess hormones it can cause cancer pcos women like uh, the cancer is three times more endometrial cancer the chance of endometrial cancer is three times more 
so basically to protect the women body uh, combined oral contraceptives can be offered then there is progesterone only pill which can be offered and uh, for hair citizen that is the excess hair growth for excess hair growth like there can be cosmetics can be used laser treatments can be used and uh, obviously women also suffers from acne with pcos and when they do again combined oral contraceptives comes into help in that kind of situations there can be topical treatments as i have already discussed uh, in my acne video those can be used to prevent acne and in severe acne sometimes isotretinone is an option but however it needs to be prescribed by the hospital the secondary care so basically fertility is unpredictable whether uh, a woman can produce a baby or not it's there is it we can't say it for certain now if somebody fails to conceive after trying for three months and uh, doesn't have a period or over the age of 36 with no period at all then the patient needs to be referred to a gynecologist and contraceptive pills are recommended until pregnancy is desired um, and this is very important and we also before getting pregnant we often advise patients about health and good lifestyle reduce weight and it is very important to screen depression as well because patients can become very depressed it is also important to screen heart risk assessment and how we do that women who are who are smoking we will advise please don't smoke, go for smoking cessation service. Uh, if somebody is fat, overweight, we will ask that patient, please do reduce some weight, go for exercise and control your diet, eat healthy foods. And uh, we also need to screen for diabetes. This is very important as well because patients with PCOS, PCOS are at increased risk of having diabetes. In PCOS, metformin is often prescribed now some trials have shown that metformin has shown like short-term benefits and in some trials it has also been shown that long-term clinical outcomes is pretty less with metformin pcos is a very common problem of infertility women can't you know con conceive or produce babies um women often discover that they got pcos when they are trying to get pregnant and what happens when a woman has got menstruation or period one egg releases each month right and uh, in pcos what happens is that this egg is not released once a month and that's why uh, women can have like irregular periods or no periods at all and hence it is difficult to get pregnant no egg means no sperm can fuse the egg in order to produce a baby now in pcos there is an increased risk of type 2 diabetes there is increased risk of depression um, high blood pressure high fat level in the body heart disease it can also lead to stroke there can be sleeping problems as well like interrupted breathing uh, during sleep and the most important thing is if pcos is not controlled at later stage there is a chance of having endometrial cancer now obviously the degree of uh, having endometrial cancer can be minimized um, by using contraceptive pills or any other uterine intrauterine devices the exact reason to have polycystic ovary syndrome is unknown it can be due to genetic factors maybe it runs in the family it can be also due to hormonal imbalance basically um, it, the body doesn't respond to insulin which is a problem because high level of insulin in the body uh, because the body is not responding to it obviously the le levels of insulin is going to increase and too much insulin means it can lead to production of testosterone which is a male hormone we do produce women do produce testosterone but at a very very tiny amounts so these are basically the reasons the hormonal imbalance basically leads to uh, 
PCOS. So summarizing the treatment of PCOS, so to treat irregular absent periods, contraceptive pills can be used, which are basically to regulate the periods. It's very important to regulate the periods with contraceptive pills. Now, if somebody has got like fertility problems, there is like IVF treatment, then there is another medication which is known as clomiphene. Clomiphene, it encourages the release of egg and uh, it can be used as well then there is another medication which is known as uh, metformin which i've already discussed um, it can be used as well metformin it's basically to um, lower the insulin level in the body uh, it can lower insulin level and the blood sugar level in women with pcos and also uh, to treat unwanted hair growth, which can be a problem as well. Mm, there are particular combined oral contraceptive pills which can be used such as uh, Ciprindiol, Dianid, Marvelon, or Yasmin. These are all combined oral contraceptive pills. And uh, there is also Ciprotron acetate. Then there is Spironolactone, which are used, Flutamide, another medication. Another one is Finasteride. Now, all these medications can be used for unwanted hair growth and there is also a cream called um, eflornithine. Eflornithine it's basically slows down the growth of unwanted facial hair. Now the most important advice I'm going to give to patient is lifestyle and diet. Now in the management of PCOS lifestyle and weight loss comes first this is because if you can lose five to ten percent of your weight if you're obese or overweight then this just this five to ten percent weight loss can restore fertility there the chances will increase of you um, of any women with pcos to be fertile again um, to produce babies now this is very lifestyle and losing weight are, is the key here so pretty much that so if you have any questions put in the comment section below and thanks for watching thanks for your support it's so much appreciated and do like subscribe and share my channel this will obviously motivate me more and it will encourage me more to make more videos for you guys thank you